After the PM left a Brussels summit, Europe's other 27 leaders met to give the order to prepare for trade and transition talks from December click to share on WhatsApp, opens a new window click to share on Facebook, opens a new window click to share on Twitter, opens a new window EU leaders today offered Theresa May a Brexit divorce deal by Christmas, but only if she forks out £48 billion for it. After the PM left a Brussels summit, Europe's other 27 leaders met to give the order to prepare for trade and transition talks from December. But they all made it clear that phase two of Brexit talks will only start if Mrs May spells out what future EU obligations, such as long-term grants and pensions she will stump up for. So far, Britain has offered pounds 18 billion in exchange for a two-year-long transition period from 2019 to 2021. But French President Emmanuel Macron risked a fresh row by insisting the figure was not even halfway there. One senior EU diplomat told The Sun, that that the 27 leaders would accept £30 billion from Mrs May for future commitments. On top of the £18 billion bill for a transition period, the demand would send the total divorce check to an eye-watering £48 billion. But some of it for contingencies that don't develop may never need to spend, leaving the overall bill slightly smaller if the Treasury gets a refund. The potential breakthrough came after the PM today revealed she was ready to start mapping out what the UK will pay. At a press conference in Brussels, Mrs May refused to deny she has told leaders privately she's willing to agree much more than the initial pounds 18 billion laid out in her Florence speech last month for a two-year transition deal. Revealing detailed work on the commitments will now begin, the PM explained, we're going through them line by line, and the British taxpayer wouldn't expect its government to do anything else. There will be no final figure agreed or checks written until the very end of the negotiations in 2019, the PM added. She dubbed the summit an important moment and insisted she was positive and optimistic about a trade deal being sealed. But she also admitted, I know we still have some way to go. An O10 was relieved as Mrs. May was desperate to have come home from the two day summit to show there is still momentum in the talks after a month of feuds within her own cabinet. Eight tough weeks of intense haggling over money between London and Brussels will now follow ahead of the leaders' next summit in mid December. Eurocrats have slapped a price tag of up £60 billion on the divorce bill. Keeping up the pressure, Emmanuel Macron insisted that they are still far from a deal, adding, I can only underline how much more work needs to be done. But Downing Street sources said Mr. Macron was much more constructive in private conversations with Mrs. May recently. Other leaders continued to rally round Mrs May after her plea for help to them during a Thursday night dinner for a deal that she can sell to British voters. Powerful Germany boss Angela Merkel said she has absolutely no doubt that we can reach a good result.
but she also made it clear Phase 2 depended on Mrs. May coming good on what she will pay for, adding, I think everyone knows what needs to happen now. EU Council President Donald Tusk said gloomy claims of Brexit deadlock had been exaggerated. The remark was a clear slapdown for the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier, who only last week described the stalled talks at disturbing deadlock. Dutch PM Mark Rutte, Britain's closest ally in the talks, added, I don't expect her to come up with a number right now, but she should at least present a method to come to a financial contribution. Malta's PM Joseph Muscat dubbed humbled Mrs May's late-night appeal to them as warm, candid and sincere her best performance yet. Mrs May also signaled she now may be ready to concede to another key EU demand to allow their citizens living in the UK to bring relatives over to Britain after Brexit too. It has been a major logjam in the talks on EU citizens' rights so far, but the PM said today, whatever happens, we want them and their families to stay. Depsite the progress, she also insisted minister.